Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 3. The map, uh, it looks like there was a bit of a failure to launch over here. It seems that, um, we don't even have Jimenez on uh, the Kingdom of Leon. Garcia is still alive though, and, uh, Alfonso is actually the king of Castile, but not Leon. So that's a little strange. Uh, Yemena Leon. So I don't really know what exactly happened there. But, uh, anyways, let's take a look here. What we can be doing. So, I'm not sure. Other than getting our, um... Ooh, looks like you are getting beat up on by rebels, but... Aside from... Finding hooks on our vest or on our liege here. Hmm. We really could use a better... A better um, military guy. So let's get these guys in. They're pretty cheap, so let's pull them in here. And that may actually get us a better marshal. No, sadly. So we just need to get one hook on our emperor, and then we can push into this uh, county over here. Enemy occupations do not lower control. Very good. Zurich is now almost finally... Finally, 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 um, under control. A little bit over a year left. Hendrik, the non non-believer secret. It's not very useful for me. Let us improve our crown land a bit. Definitely want some walls and towers in our capital. Matter of fact, let's build some walls and towers over here as well. And uh, let's build a military camp up there. And let's create a men at arms regiment. We definitely need to do this. Uh, let's go with some armored footmen. It will cost a bit of money over time, but uh, a stronger army, a better army is better, even if it is a little expensive. Um, a courtier. I don't care about your courtiers. You can ask Pope Man for some money. I will gladly do it. Doesn't affect our um, devotion, which is great. And uh, we are almost an insignificant family. <laughs> right now we are obscure. So let's just take a look here. I wonder if my wife is gonna give me any more children. Hmm. Men at arms maintenance, uh, new commander or knight each month. 3%. Mm, that's not very good. Probably because he's super bad. Uh, 35. That sounds great. You are definitely worth that. Welcome. You also want to be a knight. I think you do, my friend. Yes, you do. All right. So we have some seriously good knights over here in Transurania now. Declare war on him. It says I can, but uh, I actually cannot because we need a hook on our liege. Which is annoying because our uh, spy master is having a bit of a hard time finding any secrets on the liege. So we're kind of just waiting on it, honestly. Um, and unless I can press these claims, I can't do anything. And I'm just, so I don't want to murder him. And the question is, is if I even do get in here, do we get anybody involved? That's the question. I think we push it. I think we try. Okay. This bishop, oh, it was he was showing up as a baby, which is kind of funny. That is quite expensive. But for 31% chance, I think it's worth it. It'll take a bit of time. Duchess Matilda's secret lover, huh? I will blackmail you. I know of your mother, Matilda. Or your lover, I said. I said mother. So, I know of your lover, Matilda. Let me see here. Can I request a claim on him? Hmm, I possibly could. If I had more prestige, probably I could. Oh, come on now. I gained a bunch of stress for that as well, sadly. All right. Well, 
We are building these guys up here. The gar extra garrison is helpful. Uh, the fort level is helpful as well. Army maintenance is very helpful. That'll save us money when at war. And my daughter Maria is an intricate web weaver. And she is uh, matrilineally married to the man, to the prince, not the heir, but the prince, who is a brother of King Eustace. Is that Eustace? Eustache? I don't know how to pronounce that. Very good. These are unpressed though, sadly. Otto Zuschwaben. Uh, more vigilant. Or I imprison him. Uh, I don't see any reason to imprison him. Ugh. I, I want you to try to find some secrets, man. There has to be some. Heinrich, what are you hiding? What are you hiding, Heinrich? And I'm sure there are faster ways for me to work my way up to the Holy Roman Emperor. It's not that I... I just don't really care a whole lot. Okay. Designate a... Yes. Let my wife handle that. We are not endorsed by our bishop, so we should probably sway him. He is one learning. God, that pisses me off. Okay. Study an old battle. Or... We gain... And a commander bonus. Interesting. Study the battle of whatever this is. The study battle of Galaxia. Gaixia, which gives us advantage in hills. Enemy fatal casualties is huge. Or this one, which gives us learning. Well, obviously I'm going to take that one. Enemy fatal casualties is a huge bonus. Uh, and so it looks like for some reason... So this is, seems to be a bug. We are gaining zero levies per month, but if we raise and lower our levies, our levies will now shoot up. So I'm really not sure what causes that. I don't know what that is, but uh, we can declare some wars. King Philippe of France. Uh, he took Bar, didn't he? No, we just have some dude who's got one claim over there. We could use the kingdom of uh, Lotharingia to help us out, but uh, <laughs> I don't know about all that. If he endorses me, it's going to give us an extra ducat a month, which is good. Let's, uh, let's uh, improve our taxes a bit. Now we don't have, okay, we do have the money to produce one of these things. So, he's being attacked by the French. Oh, he's attacking. Claim on the county of Zealand. All right, well, let's see here. This doesn't seem smart. Oh, yikes, what's going on with you, man? Got the great pox, you're scarred, you're a strategist, and a lunatic. King Philippe, you are, uh, you're not looking too good, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, let's see what's going on over here. Can we get a... Mm. No, I think we're okay. So we have a martial perk. Let's go for absolute control here, which will give us a bit of extra... Excuse me, a little sneeze there. Uh, it says I have absolute control unlocked, but I don't see it here. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's come on over here and uh, siege this down. We can get the French guys to get off his capital, which I don't actually don't see his armies. He must have lost a pretty big battle, like, as I was going getting into this war. That's my only explanation for what's going on here. So I won some money, which is nice. <laughs> But he's going to take his capital. Oh yeah, he's doomed. There's nothing I can do about this war. This war's over already. 
I don't know why you would declare this war, man. Doesn't make any sense. It might be coming. No, they're getting onto his capital over there in Brabant. Ah, they're coming for me now, for sure. Yeah, they're coming for me. Uh, Duchy of Moray. So we got Lollardy both in uh, Croatia as well as up here. Interesting. And apparently in Baden. <laughs> so this, uh, we're going to need to... I don't know. They keep stutter stepping. So Denmark is in on this war as well. Eric Svensson. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. This war's over. Like, we're, we're gonna lose. There's no no possible chance we win this war. So if I can just at least get a little bit of money, I would like to. So the Crusades are here. This Pope looks terrible. You look very ill, my friend. Pope Alexander III, but uh, Deus Volt, of course. It's a little offensive. I'm not gonna lie. The, the term Deus Volt kind of upsets me. Said nobody ever. Nobody that I respect. Deus Volt. So, Maria might get wounded. And she will not duel anymore. Or, Aspiring Blade Master. I lose 50? Yeah, absolutely. If I can make my daughter a tough chick. Absolutely. I would love that. Hopefully she didn't get injured. So she's an intricate weapon. She actually is not bad. She's a pretty good character. Trusting, ambitious, gregarious. I like it. I do like it. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about actually participating. I will donate some money. They're coming for me. So let's get out of here. Alright, let's get you guys lowered so we can gain a little bit of money. Oh, they're not even going to try for it. Interesting. Hmm. You killed Mayor Sigismund. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. Is she a murderer now? No! Maria, why would you do that? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, she killed my spy master. That is so disappointing. Well, I guess she can be my spy master now. She she killed him and now she replaced him. Now Hildegard is a thrifty clerk, which is pretty garbage, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Let's see if we can spy on the emperor here. So I can get a hook on him. Otto has not been able to do very much. So he's gonna love me forever. Well not you. You're you are disgusting looking. But uh, Eustache, Eustache or whatever, he will like me forever. I don't lose anything from being in that war. I actually gained money from being in that war. So that's fine with me. Um, he will... Oh, I have some prisoners. Yes, I do. Well, let's do some ransoming then, yeah? Absolutely. Wow, we made a lot of money in this war. I love it. Wonderful. I made a lot of money in that war. Feels good, man. Let's make sure we have a strong capital. We are now an overseer, which is good. It gives us a bit of extra marshal and stewardship. That's good. Duke Otto is certainly doing well for us. So it looks like you are occupied by whom? Are these rebels? Peasant revolt, really? Hmm. Let's see here. There is an independence faction. I don't think I want an independence faction, but I do want a lower crown authority, so I will join them. Because, and then after a few months, we'll be able to push this one, which would be great. So, uh, we're going down now. Hmm. My sister. Oh, really? My sister. 
has children that have implicit claims in the Duchy of the Kingdom of Bohemia. Interesting. So does that mean I could negotiate an alliance with you? Almost. The fact that he's a kingdom and I am not hurts me quite a bit. Let's sway him. I think he can be he can be bought to be our friend. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so this lack of a hook is troublesome. Too weak to send an ultimatum. Yeah. So I'm in line to inherit titles, it says. Third in line for the Holy Roman Empire. So people are voting for me, actually. Well, that would be pretty sick. So let's take a look here. Ask the head of the faith for gold. Yes, please. So. We have three votes because King Eustish is voting for us. And actually... If King Boleslav would vote for us, we could actually make this go quite well. And an, an alliance, I think we can actually manage this. I think we can. Okay. I will gladly pay for that. Yes. He gains opinion on me and we gain progress. This, the higher we get of our opinion with him, the better. Oh, yes. I think that just bought us our, our alliance. It is so close. Okay, very good. Um, arrange a marriage. Let's see here. Member of our family. <laughs> Doesn't stop me. Um... My granddaughter. Let me see here. She is the daughter of Maria, so she is the heir to my heir. So we need to be a little bit smart about her. And then she is the... Oh, they're twins. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I think we just have to push for another friendship... Uh, or another, um, another roll of this. The Czechs are good people. Yes, very much. So close. Difference in our military strength. Uh, I definitely don't agree with that. We are definitely closer than you might think we are, sir. We have discovered battlements, which is great. That means we can now actually upgrade this. So speaking of... Royal Armories. Level, levy size 20%. That is incredibly strong, so I will gladly do that. So 46% chance we can convince him to be our friend. 48. Nah, it didn't go up. Damn. Damn. He is so close. If we... Hmm. Alright. We are the second in line to inherit. His son is the most... The most voted for, actually. So how many votes does he have? Six? And I have three. He's voting for himself? No, wait. Hey! Bro. What you talking about, man? If I could, if I could afford to send you a gift, I would do it. Okay. Let me see here. Would you like to be my friend? He's so close. Um, very good. He gains opinion, but it didn't actually go up. 
He is so close, man. It's going down over time. That's our problem. Hmm. 56% chance, though. That's pretty good. I like that. Nice. Be my friend. Dang it. Now we can switch and sway him. Send him a gift. That should put us actually... So Poland has formed. Konrad Arpad. Ooh. Interesting. Never back down. Advantage. I like that. So let us look for some uh some secrets over here. So I can try to push this. Has right hand. An extra hand, or I gain prestige for stress. The prestige sounds great. I'll take that. Okay, so we have an Arpad in our court who has a claim on the kingdom of uh, Hungary. Well, that's pretty crazy. I do not have a Castus Belly. This peasant and soldiers will get a lecture on honor. Very good. My glory is now widely known. I am distinguished. So I have three votes. Is there a reason why you are not voting for me, good sir? I'll gladly ask the head of my faith for gold. How far off are we from this guy? 19 months? It's going to give us a bit of an extra levy, which would be really good. Uh, let's invite some knights. We have the prestige for it. Let's host a feast as well. We have the money for it. Welcome, friends. We'll uh, go with... Oh, you are 80 years old. Goodness gracious. Bad reaction to food. Um, you are 80 years old, old man. Oof, goodness gracious. All right. A bit of a boring episode, honestly. We're having a hard time expanding here. We gained a ton of prestige from all that stuff. Can we get a hook on the Emperor? Here's the question. Nope. <laughs> Sadly. Alright, well, that's a bummer. Let's get more taxes. Ooh, our king, you have died. So... How were we allied to them before, actually? I think my daughter was... Really? Polish, man. An old Polish man. Well, let's see here. She's 23 years old. I could arrange a marriage for them. With Hildegard. He would not accept. Because he's marrying down. Hmm. What if we were to be marrying your brother, though? Francois? No. Hmm. So, the Duchy of Augsburg. Let's see here. Let's take a look at our, um, our factions here. Lower Crown Authority? We can press these demands, and I think we should. Am I the leader of it? I am the faction. Faction member. So it says he has 91% of the faction. It's the Duke of Bohemia. Let's push these demands. So if he accepts this, this actually allows us... Alright, then war it is. Yikes. Um, this is not the best, but um, I'll take what I can here. So I need to come over here and meet up with these boys. Because he's probably going to beeline it right for me. Uh, let's actually just siege him down over here. I don't think these guys will siege me down. I think it needs to be... Maybe not. 
Yeah, I assume... Yeah, here we go. Oof. He's not feeling it, man. Yikes, yeah, he's coming for me, too. I'm gonna have to dip. Let's get up here into the mountains. We'll take care of this war in the next one. So I hope you guys are enjoying, and if you are, please show your support and leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell if you want to see more. If you want to check out what's going on over on the Discord or support us on our Patreon page, the links for those are going to be in the description below. We also have a Teespring where you can buy this cool CS Castle shirt here. And uh, if you want to join the channel membership, we have the join button down below to support the channel directly through YouTube. All of those revenue sources are great and help me manage you know, this content and keep it coming for you guys. So if you want to support us if you're able to, those are the best ways to do it. But that's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Huge special thanks to Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Corbett, RJ Pilot, The Bitter Steel, Keith, Jonathan T.A.P., Salik, Mark Mensch, Devin Terhanika, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Nathan Albright, William Reed, Airborne Animal 7, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.